of the Aunt Helen character. Mm -hmm. I wanted her to maintain that, you know, um, authority figure as it was. She was the right. adult in the situation. Mm -hmm. She wasn't, she could, she knew how to relate to the young people, right. but she still had to maintain her authority in the situation mm -hmm. at all times. Wow. So that's what that was like with us working. But that would sometimes just create that, why don't you come hang out with us, Elia? You know, you can come hang out with right. us. And so once I did, and I went to hang out, and I said, no, this, I can't do this because right. I need to maintain that separation mm -hmm. for me because I the wall can get blurred for me even as of a course. you know as an actor and I didn't want that to happen and that's why people still call me Aunt Helen because I fought to keep the integrity of Aunt Helen <laughs> I fought hard for Aunt Helen <laughs> for Aunt Helen <laughs> I fought for Aunt Helen <laughs> <laughs> and I imagine I imagine um, you know just being in that type of environment meeting all type of celebrities oh, and yes, actors. Yes. It's a lot of things that go on that, that Aunt Helen says, okay. Absolutely. Can't Abs do this. Can't do that. Aunt Helen. We can go here, we but can we can't here, roll but we here. We can't roll there. No, right. can't roll in that. Aunt right. Helen spent a lot of her time with me. Thank you, Aunt Helen. Right, Thank in our Helen. dressing room. Oh, and we were praying, reading our scriptures, and wow. when things got kind of intense for us and certain things that were going on. Because the other thing that I had to... Um, realize is that I was not trying to condemn it because that God says, you know what I mean? Right, I, I, right, I'm not right. here to condemn anybody. Right. We didn't even come to condemn them. But my presence sometimes, if people chose to indulge in whatever, you know, fleshly or mm -hmm. carnal thing that they wanted right. to indulge in, my presence would just put a damper on it. It's just, it would just was. And like I said, it wasn't really me. It was the God in me and mm -hmm. is the God in me. And so I would remove myself. I would graciously remove myself from the situation so that the people could enjoy themselves. So they themselves. could be them. Be them, exactly. exactly. So they could be right. themselves. And so I didn't mind locking myself up in my dressing room. I had my gospel videos. I right. had my gospel tapes. I had my father, my dad. I played my dad's tapes and, right. you know, read my word and, and enjoyed my music, you know. So it was, it was, it was a blessing. It still was a blessing. And all of that, I'm telling you, in all that I went through, if I had to do it all over again, I'd do the exact same thing. Do the exact yes. same thing. Yes. Well, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to our commercial break and we'll be right back with my guests right after this. Hardy's Floor Covering, a trusted name in Covington and the surrounding areas since 1985, has the latest trends and assistance in providing everything you're looking for in quality floor covering. Hardy's offers a full line of carpet, vinyl, hardwood, laminates, VCT, and area rugs with hundreds of remnants as well as rolls of carpet and vinyl in stock. Add value, charm, and style to your home or place of business. Hardy's offers free estimates, competitive pricing, and 100% satisfaction guaranteed. Choose the best. Choose Hardy's 2227 Emory Street in Covington. What is it that you need right now? Is it a peace of mind in these times of turmoil? Or do you need a minute to just unwind and regroup? Morgan Collectibles, Inspiration of the Heart, invites you to share in three dynamic books along with a new and unique line of greeting cards, awards, and encouragement to help you find that place. Available at all major bookstores or you may go to iUniverse.com or whatisyourstory.info to place your order. You may also send check or morning order to Morgan Collectibles P.O. Box 2026 Covington, Georgia 30015. From Adam and Belinda, we say we love you. We love Thank you. you. Thank God you. bless you. God bless you. And here's to another great year. I'm so excited that I was able to witness the second season of What's Your Story, and I'm so excited to see what's coming up. Welcome back to our show, Elia English, Aunt Helen of the Jamie Foxx Show, author and also songstress. I am so happy she's with us today. Ellie, if you would, would you go ahead? We've talked about your book. We've talked about Jamie Foxx. We've talked about a lot of different things mm -hmm. that you've done. That's right. Let's go ahead right now. Let's talk about... Uh, your new ah, CD that you CD, have out. My it's my copy. That's right. This is in my book. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Now, along with um, my I Am That I Am, because I've published my first book, I have now released my first single called That's What Faith Is. You gotta believe it. 
good. And I am grateful to God. And as Kenneth said, this is his copy. So I'm going to give Kenneth back his <laughs> copy. <Of course. laughs> it's right now. It's available on iTunes. So if you go to iTunes, you can order it right off of iTunes. It's got, It's a part. It's a song from my upcoming album, Still Believe, which is what I'm working on. That's why I came down here to gotta get a little recording in before I have to go back out to California to actually work on Mary Lou Wentz. We're wow. going to do some more uh, Disney work. So that's what the CD is, my brand new CD. But like I said, I was singing since I was five years old. So singing was what I started out doing before I started out acting. And I've always wanted to record. And God has blessed me to write, produce, arrange, and record. That's what faith is. You got to believe it. And you'll be blessed, trust me, as well as when you pick up I Am That I Am, A Journey Through Adolescence. How do you find it, you say? You can go to my website, www.eliaenglish.com. That's spelled E-L-L-I-A-E-N-G-L-I-S-H. And you can click on the I Am That I Am page. You can also click on the About Elia page, and that's where you'll find the information about the CD. And you can click on the little CD, and it'll take you right to iTunes where you can order the CD. The book is available now at barnesandnoble.com, amazon.com, and zulonpress.com. That's spelled with a Z. I mean, with an X. X U L O N. But that information is also on the page, I Am That I Am. Once again, it's my website, www.eliaenglish.com. Also, there's a little stamp on different pages of my website where if you click on that stamp, if you're a Mac user, it'll bring up a window where you can email me. If you're a PC user, it'll cl you click on it, it'll bring up the HTTP, and all you have to do is highlight it and put it in your um, email address, and you can email me directly from my website, and I would love to hear from you guys. I would love to hear from you. Good. Now, would you just go ahead and read us a little excerpt? Oh, I would love to from so I Am That I Am. will know what we're getting from I Am That I Am. Oh, my goodness. Let's see. What, okay. I Am That I Am is a collected a collection of writings based on a lot of journal writings of me just growing with God and living and learning and growing. So I turn to a page called Don't Take Me Through These Changes, No Commitment, No Respect. Don't take me through these changes, it's quite so unfair. Don't take me through these changes, I wonder if you ever cared. My self-esteem is completely shattered, my mind you've whipped and horribly battered. Still, I don't want to lose you. Who'd want me in this used condition? Please don't continue to add to my pain. Your insolence is driving me insane, and I'm not sure I can live through this situation. Don't take me through these changes. It's quite so unfair. Don't take me through these changes. I wonder if you ever cared. You told me that you loved me. You really loved me. I wanted so much to believe. Then you said if I loved you, I would supply your every need. When I told you I was a virgin, it's not important, was your reply, as you stood glaring with that sinister look in your eyes. I was afraid you wouldn't love me, so I did just as you pleased. Now you're treating me like I'm a stranger with an incurable disease. Tell me, what did I do wrong? How long will you keep hurting me? How long? Don't take me through these changes. It's quite so unfair. Don't take me through these changes. I wonder if you ever cared. You don't understand. Can't you see I have feelings, man? And when you mistreat me, it really, really hurts. Why do you abuse me and walk on me like I'm a piece of dirt? I'm not made of stone or clay. I'm human, so please treat me that way. Don't take me through these changes. It's quite so unfair. Don't take me through these changes. I wonder if you ever cared. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Viewers, this is what you will have when you purchase Elia's English book, I Am That I Am. I know that we've got to, we've got to get out of here. I know uh, this has not been enough time for us to <laughs> learn everything about you, to talk about everything that you have done, but uh, we do appreciate the opportunity that you have given us uh, today uh, being on our show. If you will, Ella, you, yes. would you just give our uh, viewers, uh, our young people that may be inspired to be actors or whatever their goal is, mm -hmm. as long as it's positive, Amen. Amen. Uh, would you give them uh, words of encouragement to let them know that if Elia can do it, anybody, anybody can, can do, do it. it. First of all, Elia's rule 
is stay in school. Exactly. That's it. Elliot's theme it. <laughs> is follow your dream. And I know that if you trust in the Lord with all your heart mm -hmm. and lean not to your own understanding and in all your ways acknowledge him, he will direct your path. That's what I have to say to all of you young people who are interested in being in this industry because this is an industry that can chew you up and spit Ooh. you out and keep moving. Yeah, and if you don't have a solid foundation yeah. under you, it'll just be quicksand mm -hmm. and cause you to sink. And they'll be throwing things at you and telling you what they'll give you and how big they'll make you. Oh, they'll yeah. blow you up oh, just yeah. to tear you yeah. down. And if you don't have a solid foundation and I'm talking about a foundation called Jesus, who is the rock of our salvation. There's no way, no possible way that you can't be destroyed in this industry. And this poetry that I shared from my book, this was one of the poems that I was really hesitant about putting in because it was a personal experience that I went through. And when God was saying to me, I want you to put that in this book, I went, but Father, I really, this is so personal. Why would I have to share this? And he said, if you can't share it, it means it's still a stronghold in your life. Wow. When you're able to share it and put it down and let it go, it means means you're letting me release you from it. That situation used to keep me in bondage, used to make me feel less than because it actually did happen to me. And when God had me to put it in this book, he delivered me from all of the hurt, all of the pain, wow. and all of the suffering that I went through because of that experience. I'm telling you, you got to keep God first in your life. That's my advice to all you long, young people and even older people who want, if older people mean mature people, mature people, you get what I'm saying? Mature people who want to try to have a life in this industry. Because yes, if I can do it, you can do it. But I can only do it through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. I love you guys. All right. <laughs> I have enjoyed our show today. I've enjoyed my cousin, my guest today, Elia. <laughs> English uh, to all of our young people, uh, uh, to anybody that's inspiring to do anything great, anything successful. Mm -hmm. This is a living testimony of what God can do. You can be a part of Hollywood and that's not right. allow Hollywood to drag Amen. or to pull Amen. you down. Amen. Follow your dream, follow your goal. Most of all, have a purpose in life. If you hold on to the purpose that God has given you, you can accomplish and achieve anything in life. I'm Kenneth L. Morgan, your host, Elia English. This has been What's Your Story? God bless. God bless. We're out. <laughs>